Israel is facing immense pressure from its citizens to bring hostage negotiations back to the table. Anger and sorrow have been mounting in Israel after the IDF admitted to killing three hostages on Friday. Hostages were earlier freed during a week-long truce also joined the, pro the protests or rallies and pressured Israeli authorities to ramp up efforts in bringing back the remaining hostages. Thousands have gathered outside Israel's defense headquarters in Tel Aviv to protest the Israel military's action and call on the Netanyahu government to do more to release the hostages from Gaza. While protests and rallies rock Tel Aviv, Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has confirmed that a fresh round of hostage negotiations with Qatar's mediation is currently underway. This even as he said Israel would fight to the end. But the Israeli leader did not confirm reports of a meeting between Mossad head David Bania and Qatari Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Al Thani. אנחנו פועלים גם עם קטאר וגם עם מצרים, יש לנו ביקורת קשה על קטאר, אתה עוד, אני מניח, תשמע את זה, אבל כרגע אנחנו מנסים להשלים את המהלך של שחרור חטופינו. However, Hamas has asserted its position that the group will not come to the negotiation table until Israel stops bombarding Gaza. A statement by the militant group revealed that its official position has been conveyed to all mediators. As domestic pressure in Israel escalates, there has also been a flurry of action on the diplomatic front. U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin is currently on a trip to West Asia. The trip, which begins in Israel, will also involve a visit to Qatar and Bahrain. Potential talks around the hostage situation, escalating death toll in Gaza and rising maritime tensions in the Red Sea will be high on Lloyd's agenda. Meanwhile, the battleground in Gaza continues to remain tense and volatile. Israeli forces carried out a fresh wave of airstrikes on a UNRWA school in Han Yunis. The victims were rushed to the nearby Nasser Hospital for urgent medical care. <laughs> اني ما دار بغوص في المدارس اللي هناك تقول لها ما في الشمع ولا ما هنا انا خايف هنا نموت تقول لها ما في الشمع فش منطقه هنا Close to 19,000 Gazans have been killed since October 7th by Israeli airstrikes and ground offensive. 90% of Gaza's population has also been rendered homeless as Gaza continues to reel under a dire humanitarian crisis. The Kerem Shalom crossing between Israel and Gaza has now been opened to allow aid trucks into the enclave. Meanwhile, thousands of Gazans scrambled for food at the Rafa crossing. Till Saturday, Rafa border was the only entry point for aid trucks. Time and again, the United Nations has raised concerns that over the quantum of supplies trickling into Gaza being equal to a drop in the ocean. Since the siege on Gaza, over 2.3 million Palestinians are battling hunger and homelessness. On the other hand, in the West Bank, tensions continue to escalate as Israeli military carries out raids in the region. According to reports by Palestinian Red Crescent Society, Israeli soldiers were seen blocking ambulances. An injured person is believed to have died in the new Shams camp after the ambulances were prevented from entering the area despite coordination through the Red Cross. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.